Hello, this is Amanda with From Where I Stamp near Kingston, Ontario. And I wanted to share with you, um, I don't know if it's a new technique, but something I've tried with some designer series paper and to create like an um, angle to my card. And I made this earlier and I wanted to share with you how to use or create this using a different sheet from the same pack of designer series paper. So I'm gonna switch the cameras around here and uh, we'll get started. So the annual catalog, this week I'm talking about retired items. And so there's a lot of these pieces in here that are retiring, which is sad, but there's a new catalog coming in May, which is awesome. So demonstrators, I, as a demonstrator, was able to see the new catalog in PDF format. New catalogs are coming soon to me. And if you're on my mailing list to get one, I have sent one to you. If you want to request a catalog, make sure to message me and I will uh, talk with you about it. So Lighthearted Lines stamp set is retiring and I love the sentiments in there. I'm not sure if I'll let this one go um, because don't grow up, it's a trap. My grandmother always said, don't grow up. So <laughs> maybe I'll have to keep it because that's what she told me. So um, the card here, this one here, I use the to the person who still got it, but might not remember where they put it. Happy birthday. So it's kind of tongue in cheek, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'd want to give a card with this. But now that I've made it, I just I'll have to. That's all. All right. So the paper we're going to use is the In Good Taste. Whoops, you can't see. In Good Taste Designer Series paper. And there's a lot, and this one's retiring too. It's been around for a little while, but I love all the textures. So it has so many textures and I love the wood. So I've used this one here on the other card, and we're going to use this one here on this card. And I'll show you how I did the little um, edge like here. So I've never done this before and it wasn't all that hard. All right, so stamp set, very vanilla. I hardly use very vanilla. I don't know about you. I use basic white most of the time. And um, I used to use early espresso, which this is this is what this one is, early espresso all the time. And now I don't, which I guess is kind of good because I've branched out to using other colors. But um, very vanilla, I have so much of it. And I don't know, are you a very vanilla or a basic white fan? I'd love to know. Drop me a comment. All right. So this we need our trimmer for. And so this here, so we have our card. And of course, it's a half sheet, half sheet of paper. So it's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter and folded in half. This is four by five, uh, five and a quarter. Sorry. All right. So I'm randomly going to pick um, so kind of like a quarter inch ish from the bottom and an inch ish from this side, something random. And you want to cut it and we don't need that other piece. You could keep the other piece if you wanted to create another card with it or something. I don't know. I'm just going to toss it. All right. So we have this very vanilla that we're going to put as a little piece accent color and We'll need the trimmer again in just a moment. So we have this. I do not like this side. It is pink. It's, it was Rococo Rose, which is an old in color. And uh, it was purple. I'd be happy. All right. So let's try this side on this side. So just a little bit. I'm just lining this up here so that um, I just have like a quarter inch roughly. And then we're gonna grab the trimmer and put it here so it's at the four inch mark and trim off that very vanilla. I didn't do a very good job, so maybe I'll have to fix that with the scissors. And then here, oops, trim that off. I took a little bit too much off. That's all right. So I'm going to fix this side because this vanilla will just bug me. There we go. 
because it's going against a dark card base. Oh, look at what I did to my paper. All right, I'm going to fix that. Let's fix it. Whoops. Okay. The trimmer doesn't like to take off a little teeny tiny bit. It likes to take off more like an eighth of an inch or closer to get the best cut. So this won't be quite the right size, but who cares? It'll still look good. No one will really notice because it's going on a dark card base. It's not a big deal. All right. So this one here, I did landscape, but we're going to do this one in portrait. So one thing I didn't do was cut my very vanilla for my sentiment because I didn't pick my sentiment. I guess that's my problem. All right. So I think, I think I'm going to do don't grow up. It's a trap. All right. In honor of my grandmother, we'll do that one. So now, the easiest way I have found to figure out, everything is figure outable, is putting your, either you can put the stamp on the block or just use your stamp. So this needs to be at least three. So we'll do three and a quarter-ish. And pick the a nice side of the paper. And then this is going to be about an inch and a half-ish. So let's do an inch, inch and a half. And you can always take another color. So if you wanted to, which I kind of want to, but I don't know what color, because this one didn't have a color behind it, but this one, I almost feel like it needs a color behind it. I wonder if we did some, nah, okay. I think we're gonna get some soft suede. Go over to my, cabinet drawers, my filing cabinet drawers. I kind of like that. All right. We're going to roll with this. So what did I say? It was one and a half. So we want one and three quarters. And then this was three, three and a quarter. So we need three and a half, which it is already. Awesome. All right. Trimmer can go away. So where's my, okay. Block, stamp, okay, black ink is next. So, I don't know if you noticed on my card over here, but it didn't stamp very well, did it? I had too much ink here and not enough ink here. So let's see, I think I need some more ink in the middle. All right, let's see if this one works. Awesome. Nah, it's okay. Let me try the other side. And then I can choose which one I like. So we have this side or this side or this side. I don't even think that paper is straight. It must be just me. It's got to be me. Oh, no. It is not straight. Let's fix that. All right. So we'll go with this side. And we'll put some ink on the back. Double-sided cardstock is always the best. Oopsie. Get over there, little in the center. Awesome. All right. So put some glue on the back of this. So these cards are really quick and easy. You just need um, a sentiment stamp set and some designer paper. So if you have a sentiment stamp set like lighthearted lines that you're wanting to use, but you're not sure what to pair it with, because sometimes you think you need to stamp flowers or you need to stamp um, a hillside image, or I don't know, or something, but you don't have to. You can use designer paper, which is why I, one of the reasons I love it is that you can not only pick colors from that designer series paper, 
to save you from having to choose what colors to use in your project, but then you can also use it as like your backdrop. So I feel like the card is not so, dare I say, naked. But, oh, my grid paper. Get the grid paper out so that I feel that at least I've tried to get this kind of, oops, that is not centered at all. Try, try is what I do. All right, so I also added some pearls to my cart, and we're going to use the um, take your pick tool. Couldn't remember what it was called. All right, so all you do is you take your pearls that are on a little sheet here and make sure you have your putty. Put it down and pick it up. I don't know if you can see that. No. It is not going to cooperate. So we're going to put it here and fix the putty. We're going to pick up another one. Oops. And we're going to put it here. And we'll pick up a third one because generally embellishments aren't done in threes. All right. And then we put the cap back on to save the putty for another day. So then here are two cards. Let me move that out of the way. So there are two cards using the Lighthearted Lines stamp set and the In Good Taste Designer Series paper. So just a reminder, this paper and this stamp set are retiring. They are while supplies last. So if these cards look something that you'd like to create, I would place your order sooner rather than later. And if you have any questions, let me know. And um, I will see you next time.